Oh. <laughs> right. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I have a new project, um, something I bought a year ago. I bought it for a crack, as you could say, as a hobby. And um, it's basically a small electric pylon. Um, I bought it due to the interest that maybe because I'm an electrical engineer in the area of power transmission and power stations. So I'm going to uh, give a short video. It's not going to be as long as the other videos. It will be kept short. It will be showing some solid works, the design, and I will do close-ups of the actual pylon itself, and then it will follow on at the end of the video with pictures, images of it being built. Um, basically, it's 600 mil tall, and it has the, the glass insulators, or the ceramic insulators, well, they're sort of glass beads, as you can see there up close. Uh, their hand beads or wrist beads, I think that women use them, they make beads for the wrist. I bought them off eBay and tied them all together using a thin welding wire. Um, so I'll go into more detail now and I hope you enjoy. It's December, it's quite cold at the time. Oh, not December, it's the end of November. It's, um, feels like it's two degrees out here, it's quite cold. Um, this boy doesn't fit it. It doesn't feel it very much. So now you're going to go on there in more discussion. I'll sit it down here and go right with the camera. As we'll do the tumble, stay back. Wait, wait there, Adam. Stay, it, 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 it. As well. Don't be tumbling that. No, 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 go back. As well, listen to me. See if you tumble that, I'll cry. <laughs> if go back there. Right. So it's 600 mil tall, as you can see. And it has six insulators, um, well, mimic or mock insulators or model insulators. Um, the pylon was designed off pictures, so basically I took loads of pictures of pylons around my area. Uh, this is a, a transmission tower, obviously, so it's a high voltage, maybe is it 250 kV or 110 kV tower. Um, it would run very close to the power station, or between big cities. And um, this pylon here is made out of stainless steel. 316 uh, more polished um, as a model. Uh, for the model, even. Um, obviously it's a house ornament. Asimo, stop carrying on. He's carrying on. It, it, it's a house ornament. Sort of camouflaged in the stones there. Um, it's really, really nice piece. Um, it didn't take long, very long to make. So obviously it's uh, drawn up in solid works and cut out using laser machine. So I have took my drawing files to somebody with a laser and they cut the steel out to me and then I've assembled it. Um, TIG welded it all together. As you can see, you see the wee small TIG welds here at the corners. There, if the camera focuses, there's one here. Asimo, Asimo, come here. There's one there. And it's a really nice, nice piece. As I'm coming here, dog noise. Right, and uh, so basically, it carries two, two circuits, um, three fuse electric, um, at each side, I believe, um, from a power station. Um, I think if I was to zoom in the one on the field here, you might see one uh, far beyond. But what do we see? No, it's too far away. So that's it. Uh, really short video. Nothing, nothing um, really mad or detailed, but I might uh, set it on something uh, plain so you can see it in more detail. So what I what I have done here is I have set it on the road. See, you can see it. Uh, it's sort of camouflaged in the stones there. Um, the glass beads, as I said, I mean, you meant to go um, R wrist beads for something to do with jewellery or something. I found them on uh, eBay and there basically came a few holes in the centre, about two mil uh, holes in the glass bead and I have bent wire, um, mig or TIG wire with a wee hoop on it so it clicks into the hole at the bottom as so and um, there's a motorbike coming. I'm gonna get knocked in. 
So that's it. I now will do a, a video of the simulation of SOLIDWORKS. So here we have the pilot on top of the wall. I know I'm dragging the video on now, but might as well give it a lot of quick wee videos against the sky to show it off. You know? <laughs> um, there it is on top of the wall. It's quite pretty, isn't it? If, you, if I may say so. Also, I forgot to say that I have also put, I'm um, sorry, holes at the bottom of the insulators. Basically to show where the cables would go on, with the high voltage cables there, or whatever you want to call them. So, this is the SOLIDWORKS uh, model, 3D model. Um, it was created before creating the pylon itself. There's only three insulators on it. Um, these insulators are only on it to get um, to benefit the design process, so I didn't actually draw the insulators up. However, I just drew um, sort of like a shape, the round shape that would uh, take up the size of the insulator. So I've basically been comparing it off photos from a real size pylon. The pylon is sitting on a base here, um, just um, so it's assembled. There are four sides is assembled on the base. I will show the sides in a wee minute. And there's quite a bit of uh, design in this, even though it's just a small pylon. Um, working out these sizes here between the middle tier and the top tier and the bottom tier. Now, as you can see here, if I can line this up, two seconds. Um, so if you look at it from here, you can see that there's quite a number of angles. So there's a angle here at this point, uh, an angle here at this point, and an angle here at this point, and then it slopes off at the very end. Uh, usually there's another cable up here for um, lightning protection, so it goes to ground. It's a lightning cable. Keep it from uh, lightning from striking the three uh, two circuits, or the, the different phases. The tower here, these these here, we'll see if I can go sideways here just, I don't want to drag this video on too much. Because somebody was complaining one of my videos was too long, but I explained it from the start that my videos is quite um, a lot in them. Um, the spot welder, as I discussed in the introduction, so I don't want to drag this one on too long, because it's such a simple project, you know. So here you have the wee holes that the insulator wires or the TIG wire hangs from. Um, then holes is 3mm wide. Uh, basically, I have brought, brought the square edges together on the pylon and TIG welded here at every every inch, or well, inch from the end even. So one here, one in the middle, one at the end. And I'm now going to open this part up. I'll open the part. So I have scaled this down by A. So basically, if I think it might be scaled down, is it? I don't remember now. Um, 600, 600 millimeters. So I don't know. What was it? 40 times smaller or something? I'm not sure. So if I go on here and open this part up. So okay. So here it is. So I'm going to open the side. So this is the side, and you can see here um, there is all the angles on it. So I've obviously flattened this um, and created a DXF file. This is made out of sheet metal and solid works. I have flattened it and all these B squares is or these B um triangles is was um designed um as one piece and then the four uh pieces were brought together, the four sides were brought together to create the tire. Um as you can see here this is each each uh, tier um is tag welded on at the this point. Uh, this point and this point. So each tier, each tier or arm that hangs out that holds each cable as uh, top meets here, and then slopes off here again. So that's basically it. There's not too much involved in it, um, but when I was putting it together, I needed to be careful not to um, mark the mur, mur finish. But um, when I did. Um, complete or finish the assembly I also uh, polished the whole thing again using uh, burnish or burnisher 
Same thing I would use from other projects. So just to take out any burn marks that the TIG welder would have left and stuff and any marks I might have left in it. So I polished the whole thing again. Uh, so that is the model pylon. Uh, someday I might draw the proper beams in it when I get time. Um, as I say that there um, be models here of just model the top to bottom of uh, five beads together the height and the width or the diameter of the beads. I haven't drawn on the wire or nothing but I will do it in the future. Um, it doesn't need to for design you know but for the model I might finish it someday and just remove this plate um, if it lets me. Probably won't let me. Okay so it did. So that plate was only for design purposes to bring the model together. Okay, so now we're going to talk about manufacturing a pylon. So this is a pylon that sits down in uh, County Derry. Um, it is the tallest pylon in Northern Ireland, I believe, beside Calcare Power Station. This is me uh, putting the pylon together now, the four sides and TIG welding, precisely, without marking it. Uh, this is uh, two sides uh, sitting flat on the base, being TIG welded together. Uh, it's very footery putting all these pieces together off the tires, the arms, where the cables connect to, without marking everything. So this is again TIG building it. You can see it's brown, so burnt a wee bit, so I need to polish. This is putting the glass beads together to act as the insulators. This is the tire nearly finished, and the tires are the cable tied on. Uh, this is them TIG welded together, uh, precisely. This is a tower more or less finished. Uh, did it still polish at this stage, I believe? Uh, this is it sitting in uh, the living room as an ornament. This is it on the grass. Soaked in water, I believe, too. This is just a model picture um, of solid works. I went through that already. And now, uh, finishing up with images of it sitting on the grass again. And on the roof of my car, against the sky view, which is quite nice. Again. And the next photo is of a wee toy car sitting beside the pylon. A uh, quite nice picture. If I may say so. Again, picture against the sunlight. And there's me standing, um, with the finished product. 